Hey guys, and welcome to the riveting conclusion to my Infernal Devices reread. On this vlog, I will be reading Clockwork Princess. Um, this book makes me cry every time I read it. Every time I read it. So, we are buckling up for a journey here. I'm probably gonna cry again. Um, it's inevitable. So, yeah. Also, I don't know if you can tell, but I got a ring light because I'm a professional now. So, um, yeah, I am excited. I'm excited for my ring light. I'm excited for this video. I'm excited to read Clockwork Princess. Um, yeah. So, I just, look at this lighting. I mean, you see all my beautiful books. I, well, this makes like all the difference. I'm like shocked. So, well, I mean, the lighting in my room was really shitty anyway. So like now that I have this, I'm just very happy about it. I also have a zit right in my, right in between my eyes. I don't know if you can see it. You can probably see it, but I have one right there, right in between my eyes. So that's fine. Love that. Let's just get into it. Who do I think I am? Let's just, let's just go. Okay, so we went to Ikea today and I got another bookshelf. Um, I got another small one and I'm gonna put it right here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take all these pictures down and then I'm going to build the bookshelf and it'll go right there. Um, I also got, I was gonna show it to you but it's in a box and I don't wanna bring the box over here. Um, I also got like a little tray, like the little tray cart that the people use for like their TBRs. I got one of those because um, I figured I can put, you know, books in it. But I can also put some of my journaling stuff in it because my desk is like a cluttered mess and it's driving me nuts. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I was going to listen to my audiobook, but I had to, I have to film this on my phone because the camera, like the lighting was literally so shitty. So... Yeah, I'm just gonna do it with nothing, but that's okay, so. So I've just been informed that I can use Audible on my computer, so that's what I'm gonna do now. So I'm starting the Clockwork Princess audiobook right now. And I just found out that it was narrated by Daniel Charman, <laughs> whom I love dearly. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm literally so effing excited. Like, I'm so excited, oh my god, okay. This man, I'm telling you, I've already talked about him before, and here I am talking about him again because I literally love him, and so I'm so excited. Stop laughing at me. I just got to the part where um, Gabriel comes into the Institute and he tells them that Benedict so I just got the part where Gabriel comes to the Institute and is looking for Gideon and it's because Benedict Lightworm Lightworm <laughs> Benedict Lightwood turned into a worm <laughs> and literally it's literally so fucking funny. Wow. I'm gonna call him Benedict Lightworm from now on. That's so funny. For some reason, I thought that happened in Chain of Gold. Like, I forgot that it actually 
happened in I don't know why it would have happened in Gina Gold. I don't know what I'm thinking but I just when they start to, started talking about it I was like oh my god here we go literally one of the best scenes is when they're fighting him as a worm I just think it's so funny okay anyways we'll get back to it now and then the fact that Henry's like can't you just step on him like wow big brained Henry we love to see it So, um, I don't know where I left off in my A Clockwork Princess reread, well, I mean, like, video-wise, um, but I know I look awful, and there is a reason for that. Um, I have COVID. So, um, I'm stuck at home, I'm stuck in bed, I f look just about as bad as I feel I feel just about as bad as I look so um it is currently Sunday March 21st it is noon so what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to finish Clockwork Princess today I'm on page 274 so I'm like I still have a lot to go but I've mostly been listening to the audiobook because um, it's Daniel Sharman doing the reading. So obviously I kind of want to listen to him because that's my man's right there. So um, what I'm going to do right now is I was going to just like physically read. But I am like so tired that I don't think I could physically read right now because I think I would probably fall asleep. So so, I am going to play my Switch for a little bit. I'm going to play some Mario. It's been a while since I've played. So, I'm going to play some Mario while I listen to my audiobook. I have some coffee, which I have creamer in, but it doesn't matter because I can't taste it anyway. Literally just tastes like warm water. That is my plan for today. I am hoping to finish Clockwork Princess. Um, I was, so I was gonna do a reading vlog of my reread of Chain of Gold, and then I was gonna do a vlog, um, of my Chain of Iron reading, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm gonna kind of end it here, because it's taken me, um, a really long time just to get through the infernal devices um it's taken longer than i wanted it to so i don't think i'm gonna vlog those because i really just want to get to chain of iron because i'm getting very impatient and i'm hearing like everybody talk about it and stuff and i don't want to be spoiled and i want to talk about it so maybe i'll just read it and then i'll do like a review on it and talk about it um I mean, by the time I read it, I'm sure a lot of other people would have already have read it. So, um, spoiler-wise, I feel like at this point it wouldn't even matter because it still wouldn't even be for the next, like, few weeks. So, I, that video probably wouldn't even go up until, like, May. Wow. Sorry, there's- my neighbor's dog is, like, barking. So, I don't think I'm gonna vlog those just because, like I said, I really want to- just get through them um i'll tell you where i'm at because i told you i was like i'm on page 274 but um this is where i'm at so the jessamine was coming back she's dead now so now i can like her um and mrs black took tessa and tessa just escaped 
the like carriage and so Will went after her. Jem knows that Will is in love with Tessa. Magnus is there. Magnus is always there. I th that's always so sad like the part when Jem is like in bed and Will is like standing there and Magnus comes in and is like does Jem know you're in love with Tessa and Will is like no but then Jem was awake and Jem was like am I dreaming and Will was like no oh it's so sad and then when Jem was like well why didn't you tell me like I would have broke it off and Will was like well then I, the two people that I love the most would be broken hearted and I I love Will what a man I just and I love Jem and I just love Will because he's a hair and nail so of course I love him sorry my nose running <laughs> I'm going to play some Mario and listen to the book. Let me see. I'm listening to it on two times speed. So, is it going to tell me how much time I have left? No, it's not going to tell me how much time I have left. Love that. Oh, four hours and 23 minutes. So, I can definitely finish that today. I think it's funny because I was like, I want to actually like physically read it. Like, I don't want to listen to it. But now that it's like Daniel Sharman is the one doing the reading, I'm like, I want to listen to it. I don't want to read it. I want to listen. I just want to hear. I think I can finish it um, today. I will um, keep you updated. So here we go. Let's play some Mario. to apologize yet again for looking terrible but it's fine um anyways I finally finished Clockwork Princess last night and um yet again it made me sob every time I'm telling you every time I just I know it's coming and like the fact that Tessa lost Will it's just so sad and the way that she describes it like and especially the part where she's like with Magnus in Paris and 
she like wakes up in the middle of the night like screaming Will's name literally breaks my heart every time and then and then her with Jem and Jem thinking like oh it's been this long like I should have realized that maybe you didn't have the same feelings for me and stuff like that and she was like you dumb idiot of course I have feelings for you still it just makes me so emotional every time again um this is gonna be five stars out of five stars yet again I mean can you blame me these these books just mean so much to me <laughs> and for what I don't know because they make me cry every time but all three of these books are five star reads for me personally um I love them I'm attached to them I'm attached to every single character which is why I think I'm also very attached to the last hours characters which is weird well I guess not I mean I think I'm not attached to any characters in the dark artifices and I'm the only person I'm attached to in the mortal instruments is Jace so I like have more of an attachment to like the infernal devices and the last hours characters than I do the rest of the Shadowhunters books which now that I think about it is like kind of weird because the mortal instruments is my favorite but now I think the last hours is beating it out for my like the number one spot because I started chain of I almost said chain of gold I started chain of iron um last night and I'm already 300 pages in so um I'm probably gonna do because I'm not doing a reading vlog for chain of iron or chain of gold um which I mentioned earlier just because I'm not really feeling up to it and I just really wanted to get to Chain of Iron. I was getting impatient but I think I'm gonna do kind of like a review of like Chain of Iron when I finish it just to get like my thoughts out and stuff um and I think I mentioned this before I think that um it probably won't even be out for a few weeks. Yeah I think that's it. I don't my brain is like super foggy right now like I'm really tired and I just I can't think straight so um I think I said everything that I wanted to say said everything I wanted to said oh my god I think I said everything I wanted to say I'm just overly attached to these characters they're my comfort characters I love them all so much um it took me a while to get through the three of these books but that's okay because I love them so it's fine I think that is everything. Again, I'm sorry that I look like this. Let me know what your favorite Shadowhunter Chronicles series is. Or who your favorite from the Infernal Devices is. Either one. Or both. Whatever. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to, you can subscribe to my channel. Um, I post every Wednesday. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you next week. Bye.